Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dana from the blog This Yellow Farmhouse, and today I have an extremely fun and lighthearted video for you all because today I am sharing 14 baby names inspired by knitters. As a mom of almost four, I've spent a lot of time looking through baby name lists. There are so many creative ones out there, from names inspired by nature, famous authors, and even from the Wild West. But knitters? That was something that I had yet to come across. And so I thought it would be fun to share with you what I learned in my research. If you're expecting or know someone who is, this list will probably be the first of its kind that you've stumbled across, and I really hope that it sparks something in you and helps you find that perfect name. I don't know about you, but naming a baby has always had a lot of weight to it for me. I love classic names, but I always found it hard to really just imagine this baby being named an adult name, especially for boys. What if it was too old mannish for a newborn baby? So I completely understand if you're struggling with naming your baby or have a daughter or friend who's totally stumped with their soon-to-be new arrival. It's tough, but this list of baby names inspired by knitters is meant to be very fun and lighthearted and help break you out of that cycle of reading through entire lists and not loving any of the choices. And if nothing else, I hope this video shares a little bit about some of the people, old and new, who help shape this knitting and fiber industry, bringing their creativity and expertise into it. Because sometimes knowing an actual face behind a name kind of helps you form a stronger opinion or attachment to it. So you'll notice that three out of four of my kids' names are on these lists, unplanned, but it's really cool that... I get to tell them about a really great knitter that has the same name as them when they get older. So let's jump right into it, starting with baby girl names inspired by knitters. Number one, Clara for Clara Parks. So Clara Parks is an author, yarn critic, and wool expert. She has written six books and she's a big advocate for wool and paying close attention to what we put on our bodies and where it comes from. And Clara means bright or clear, and it's actually the name of her oldest daughter. Number two, Mia. So Mila Mia is a Swedish yarn company with everything from cotton to 100% merino wool in tons of colors, bright and neutrals. Mila Mia was the original inspiration behind me learning to knit Fair Isle for the first time. Mia comes from the name Maria, which has been more recently linked to the Italian word Mia, which means mine. Mia is also recognized from the Slavic word Mila, meaning dear or darling, and it's an absolutely darling name. <laughs> Number three, Natalie. So if you're watching this on YouTube, you've probably already heard of knitting personality and podcaster Natalie, also known as Nitty Natty. Natalie comes from the Russian name Natalia, which means birthday or Christmas. And our second baby was born in November and doesn't know how to knit yet, but it's such a beautiful name with tons of cute nicknames that can come from it like Nat or Natty. Number four, Julia. Julia means supreme god and Julia Roberts is a real life knitter. She even teaches her co-stars like Tom Hanks how to knit, so she brings her knitting with her on set. She even knit and wore her own Women's March hat. Number five is for Andrea Mowry, who is an amazingly talented knitting designer. Andrea means brave, and what better lesson to teach your little girl than how to be brave, really? <laughs> Number six is Kara. So, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, but I believe her last name is Delav Delavine. Cara Delevingne is a supermodel and actress and knitter. She actually knits before runway shows to pass the time and beat the stress. And also, plus Cara means friend, and you always want to have a friend to knit with. Number seven is Nora. Like Clara, Nora means light. And Nora Gone is the design director at Barocco Yarns and 
a very talented knitter and author. She's personally who I learned to knit from with her book, Knitted Cable Source Book. And she's just a really influential person in knitting of all kinds. And on to the boys. Boys' names were always hardest for us to come up with. And it's a good thing we didn't have a boy until the fourth kid because we never could come up with a backup name for our first three girls. But seeing these names in a new light as men who knit also helped me see some of these names in a different light. Whether I was originally unsure because I didn't like the sound of the name or I knew somebody with that name growing up, just seeing the name attached to a different kind of person than who I might envision it with helped me imagine a little baby named each of these names. So number one for boys is Jared. Jared is a strong but cute baby name for a little baby boy. And Jared Flood is a designer, author, and the founder of Brooklyn Tweed, the yarn company. The actual meaning of Jared is descent or ruling, which I think is a great name for a leader or a future yarn company CEO. Number two is Arna, as in Arna and Carlos, a really popular knitwear designer known all around the world. He's based in Norway and he's half of the talented team of Arna and Carlos. And this name means eagle and is really popular in Scandinavia. Number three is Tom. So Tom Daly is an Olympic diver from the UK, taught himself how to knit during the 2020 lockdown as a way to stay busy and just fight depression and have something to do at a time when we all started getting a little bit in our own heads. He also actually has his own Instagram account to document all of his knits and crochet. All right, number four, Ryan. Ryan Gosling is not just the face of the Hey Girl memes. This actor knits in real life, and he actually learned on the set of the movie Lars and the Real Girl, proving that even hunky, manly men can fight work and life stress through cozy knitting. Ryan means little king and can be used for boys' and girls' names. Number five, Lucas. So, rumor has it that Star Wars creator George Lucas can be found knitting in coffee shops. I bet it helps get his creative juices flowing for movie plots, too. The name Lucas means bringer of light, and hopefully he can bring light to men knitting in public. Alright, number six, James. So, James Norbury was a knitting designer, teacher, author, and he had his own BBC knitting TV show. He was also very opinionated, claiming that needles should be no less than 13 inches long and the right one should always be tucked under the arm with the left needle doing all the work. So something tells me he wouldn't approve of my method of balancing my needles on my mom belly. But I love his enthusiasm and his devotion to the hobby and James is a great baby boy name. Number seven is Charlie for Charles Dickens. No, old Charlie didn't knit, to my knowledge at least, but his character, Madame Defarge from A Tale of Two Cities, was an avid knitter. So during the French Revolution, she used pattern stitches as a code and knit a list of upper class who were doomed to die at the guillotine. The supposed inspiration behind the story came from real women during the actual French Revolution who knit while attending the National Convention, where the fate of the rich was debated. Okay, it's a little much to ex explain to little three-year-old Charlie, but Charles Dickens was a master at storytelling, and maybe your little Charlie will be a master of knitting or another craft. So there is your list of baby names inspired by knitters. I hope this list was inspiring and helped you to see some of these names in a new knitting light. So let me know in the comments what you think of these knitter names. Did you or will you name your baby after a knitter? And of course, please like and subscribe to my channel. I put out weekly videos on knitting mom life, seasonal living, and creating a cozy home. And I'm back in January 2022 with all new Farmhouse Knitting Podcast episodes to share what I've been knitting up during maternity leave. So thanks for watching.